Hello everyone and welcome to the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's take a look at what happened in the second week of October. First up, Naver acquires Poshmark, a North American fashion C2C platform. Naver Corporation announced that it is acquiring Poshmark, the largest fashion C2C community in North America. Naver pursued the acquisition to secure long-term commerce competitiveness by preemptively responding to changes in the global C2C market, which is evolving into a vertical platform. Poshmark is a leading company in the fashion C2C field in the North American market and has a unique business model with social and community strengths to its name. The two companies plan to enhance the service linkage between the story and entertainment business centered on Webtoon and Wattpad, which are spreading across the MZ demographic in North America, and the commerce business through Poshmark. Next up, OnLab launches Cerebro IDS, OT Environment Protection Solution. OnLab and Nowonworks, an OT or operational technology security subsidiary, have launched Cerebro IDS, a solution dedicated to OT visibility and threat detection and monitoring for industrial and social infrastructure security. By combining OnLab's security threat detection technology and Nowonworks OT protocol analysis technology, it provides visibility into the status of various OT assets, such as production lines and control facilities, and detects various abnormal behaviors and security threats occurring in the network in real time. This new product is a vaccine engine to which OnLab's advanced threat detection technology is applied in an environment where the contact points between the industrial network and the IT network are increasing due to the digital transformation. For our third big story, KidsNote, Aria Care, join forces to revitalize the care tech industry. KidsNote Incorporated and Aria Care Korea Incorporated have signed an MOU to spread high quality care services and revitalize the high tech ICT based care tech technology. The two companies plan to cooperate for the goals of joint R&D and advancement of the senior care platform and improving the quality of long-term care services through cutting-edge ICT integration. Trey jong wook CEO of KidsNote, said, As the importance of the senior industry continues to grow in an aging society, through cooperation with Aria Care, we are planning to actively utilize the experience and capabilities of KidsNote accumulated over the past 10 years to make services that can practically contribute to the senior industry. For our final main story, Team Grit successfully completes Remote Robot Contest Coplay 2022. Team Grit announced that it successfully completed Remote Robot Contest Coplay 2022, which was held on the 30th of last month, along with Onpia, Immersive Cast, and the Gyeonggi Creative Center for Economy and Innovation, or Gyeonggi CCEI. Remote Robot Contest Coplay 2022 uses ultra-low latency technology based on 5G communication networks to control robots and autonomous vehicles in real time, even from long distances. And this remote robot contest embraces the concept that friends from far away can control the robot and have fun by using the technology. An official from the Gyeonggi CCEI expressed his gratitude to the attendees who participated in the demonstration of the startup company's innovative technology and said, I hope the interest in 5G ultra low latency remote control service sparked by this competition will lead to the development of convergence service specialized in various industrial sites. And now it's time to look at the Pangyo news briefs from the past week. Tunib releases two open beta models of dog chatbots. Tunib, a natural language 
processing-based artificial intelligence startup has launched open beta services for dog chatbots, Coco and Moss. In order to enable emotional communication beyond the understanding of text, Tunib made the chatbots learn a whopping 1.2 terabytes of Korean language data with its own language model. In addition, the user's emotions are classified into 43 categories, and the level of intimacy is set according to the amount of conversation, so that conversations suitable for emotions and intimacy are embodied. Next up, NeoWiz begins its new Game Master of Nights pre-order. NeoWiz is starting a pre-order ahead of the official release of Master of Nights, The Seven Trials in Korea. The new Master of Nights under development by NeoWiz is a turn-based strategy simulation role-playing game, or SRPG. The game is characterized by various combinations and placements of the characters and cards to conduct strategic battles, and it is scheduled to be released this month. And finally, Early Pay receives Encouragement Award at Fintech Idea Contest. Early Pay, an early calculation service for integrated sales of small business owners, announced that it won the Encouragement Award at the fifth Fintech Idea Contest. Early Pay is a Fintech startup that provides a payment service that calculates all sales, ranging from card sales in offline stores to delivery apps the next day. Since its launch in December last year, the company has shown an explosive subscription growth rate of over 1,000%. And that's going to do it for our Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I will see you next week.